Today, I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Blade Show West and man, is it a lot of stuff. Now, if you're new to Blade Show, man, are you missing out because this is where all of the EDC enthusiasts and knife enthusiasts get together and mingle. You get to check out a ton of new gear, take a look at prototypes and really cool shit. And without wasting too much of your time, let's get right into my Blade Show West 2023 gear haul. Now, the first thing I picked up was the vault case and this is just a really cool EDC storage solution that also has TSA approved locks. So if you're someone that enjoys traveling with EDC, DC gear, I think this is a really good solution. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and it's been absolutely perfect. Let's go ahead and pop this thing open. So this case has a lot of hook and loop on the inside so that way you can change up these panels which is a huge advantage when it comes to EDC organization. On top of that, it's got this really nice loop patch panel where you can throw all of your favorite ranger eyes. I didn't get these at the show but this is a really nice touch to add some aesthetic and protection to your gear inside. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff inside this thing, let's go ahead and start off with this side of the case. And the first knife is my brand new Koenig Mini Arius. Damn! This thing is just absolutely gorgeous. I've been hunting one down for a good part of a year now. Emotional damage. And it was my most expensive purchase of the show coming in at about $805. This is just an absolutely gorgeous knife. M390 blade steel along with the C pattern milling pattern on the scales. I don't think there's a single knife that compares to my mini areas in my entire collection of over 350 knives. And I'm just really happy to add this to my EDC rotation. Next up is my Chris Reeve knives, Umnum Zahn. A lot of you guys already know this, but I sold my S45 VN Zahn in order to purchase this Magna Cut version. I also did add on this Jekyll to Hyde V3 Zahn backspacer in a satin finish to add a little bit more bling to the Umnum Zahn. I probably won't pick up another Chris Reeve Knives Umnum Zahn unless they come out with a better blade still than Magna Cut. So this is probably gonna be in the collection for a good long time. Next up is my limited edition titanium bailout. And I didn't actually pick this up at the show, but it did arrive when the show was happening. So I just wanted to put this inside the case to kind of showcase what this thing is all about. Now I did swap it out with a different pocket clip and I do have number 290. This is a fantastic knife. It is about 600 bucks. So kind of on the steeper end in terms of pricing. But in my opinion, as a Benchmade collector, this is one of the best bailouts ever made. Oh really? I didn't know that. And I didn't need to know that. On to the next knife, and this one is extremely special because this is a collaboration between Pena Knives, the X-Series, and the designer Javi Garcia at Garcia Knives. This is an unreleased knife, and it should be releasing in December, but it is called the Paramore. It's essentially the first type of knife I've seen where there is six different micarta inlays. There's gonna be three on the front as well as three on the back, and it's a front flipper with a titanium frame lock. This may be one of the sexiest knives I've picked up at Blade Show West and I absolutely adore it. All right, next up is this one of one notorious EDC Kingpin. Huge shout outs to Taryn, one of our avid subscribers here on the channel because he met me at Jamie JRW's booth and gifted me this knife. It's got vintage Westinghouse micarta along with a G10 inlay, hand polished bolsters. And again, this is a one of one piece. It's absolutely stunning. And if you guys know me, I love the notorious EDC Kingpin, probably the very best slip joint knife in 2023. Again, huge shout outs to Taryn and his generosity. This thing is just an absolute banger. After that, I picked up a space bar pry bar from Arcane Design, and this thing is pretty nifty just because it has a nail puller built in as well as a bit driver. It even stores bits magnetically on the interior channel of this pry bar. It came with four different bits. You have a flat head, Phillips head, T6, and T8 Torx bits. Only time will on how often I actually use this pry bar, but so far this thing has a very unique aesthetic. Moving on to the next item, and this is the Arcform Alt Pry. The Alt Pry is just a really unique pry bar because it's stamped out of one single piece of titanium and then this clip is folded over. Before we move on to this next section, let's give it a quick word for today's sponsor. This video is brought to you by House of Blades, my go-to knife retailer when it comes to anything knife related. Now let me tell you why you should go to House of Blades to order your next knife. They stock pretty 
pretty much any brand that you can possibly imagine, anywhere from Benchmade, Savivi, Wii Knives, ZT, Chris Reeve Knives, Koenig, and a whole lot of others. They also strive to be the best when it comes to customer service. As a matter of fact, if you place an order today, they will likely ship it out the same business day. I know you guys have felt this before. You're kind of like a kid on Christmas just waiting for that day to come where your new present arrives and getting that package and opening it up for the first time, seeing your brand new knife is probably the best feeling ever. What I would actually suggest doing is calling up House of Blades at this number below and asking for Chris and Susie. Tell them that Brandon or Everyday Minimalist sent you. They'll hook you up with a discount on your entire order. And on top of that, while you're on the phone with them, you can let them know that you want your knife personalized with your own logo, whatever text you want. If it's a gift, maybe put that person's name on the knife or whatever you want. And they can do custom laser engraving for you. Aside from all of that, House of Blades is the reason why I can do what I do here on YouTube and keep making this great content for you guys. So I want to thank you guys as the viewers and House of Blades for making this all happen. But let's get back to the video. Let's fold this over and get to the really good stuff. Now the first knife on top is going to be the brand new Tactile Knife Co. Archer. This knife is designed by my friend TJ Schwartz and it resembles a lot of his design language. The Archer is 100% made here in the USA down in Dallas, Texas at the Tactile Knife Co. headquarters. This thing comes stock with skiff bearings and if you guys have seen my channel you probably know that I like to swap skiff bearings into pretty much every single one of my knives. From what I've heard this is going to be a little bit more of an exclusive knife so you can probably only get them at shows but I'm really enjoying this knife so far. Moving on is the brand new arc form theory and I am really digging this knife so far just because of how minimalistic it is. In my opinion I think this blade resembles a lot of the Chris Reeve and single blades but ergonomically aesthetically this knife is just buttery smooth in terms of action and it's absolutely beautiful. This is the Knoll Knives Grace and Sean over at Knoll Knives man he is a really cool dude he gave me his entire story. This guy is based out of New York and doing everything out of his house but basically the Grace is a production variant of a custom from Corbin Steelworks. I just really like this compound hollow grind along with this really cool pivot. It's in all titanium with an M390 blade. It's a little bit more out there from what I usually like but I can really dig and appreciate this design. After that I had lunch with Sean after Blade Show West was over and he actually gifted me this insane voodoo. Now what makes this one super special is it has a special scale material that is copper infused carbon fiber. It's pretty much all blacked out. Just check out the overall finish. It's made by Riot Knives M390 blades. Super buttery smooth. You guys really dig the voodoo and now I'm finally able to say that I own one. Huge shout outs to Sean over at Null Knives for letting me check out this awesome piece. Next we have a pretty crazy one and it doesn't really fit my style whatsoever. This is the Vostid RS Chaos. Now previously this thing was called the Mayhem but for some reason they changed the name of it. They didn't really explain to me what the backstory was but this is the RS Chaos serial number one. Now I did show this thing live on stream and people were calling it the Batman knife. Where are they? So I guess this is officially the Batman knife in my collection. It doesn't really fit my minimalist aesthetic, but for those of you guys that really like a more hardcore type of knife, this thing is here. It's got a compression button lock, and of course it is drop shutty, super buttery smooth in terms of action. Let's flip this thing over and go through these ones really quick because there's nothing super special about them. Don't worry, I do have two other items for the end of the video that you guys are just gonna get your minds blown. Let's get right into it. The first thing is gonna be the Big Idea Designs Bit Bar 2. What makes the Bit Bar 2 so special is it has this thumb disc that you can essentially push up and reveal all of your bits. I do have the original Bit Bar and the problem with that thing is that it had like this little notch here that you'd have to push up. It was a little janky and I'm really happy that they simplified it on this iteration. I'll probably include this thing in a future pocket dump video so stay tuned for that. Now this knife is just absolutely crazy because of its price. There's nothing super special about it in terms of the overall look but it is going for $50. $15. A $15 button lock knife, that is pretty much unheard of. You're pretty much in the category of cheaper than a gas station knife. What? What the fuck? 
It's got a 4CR blade with a hollow grind. This is not the best blade steel out there, but you can't complain. You're only spending $15 on it. It is super drop shutty and probably has the best action that I've ever felt in a $15 knife. So if you're on an extreme budget, pick this thing up, Revo. I don't even know what the name of it is. It's just a really good deal. So moving forward, let's make these pretty quick because they're all from concept. This is the Anomaly and this is a titanium frame lock flipper. Just a really nice, clean aesthetic. After that, we've got some food themed knives and these are the cute little mini Corvids. They're literally the size of my thumb. And these are more novelty items than anything. I don't really have a ton of watermelon slash donut themed things in my collection. So I think they're just gonna sit in my case. This next one is a really weird looking one. It's called the Integro with this crazy white blue carbon fiber. I do have a titanium variant of this one and it is a very clean knife. This one, not so much. So I'll probably save this one for a giveaway. Nonetheless, this is a pretty sleek design. The last thing in the case is this cute little guy right here, the Baby Banter designed by Ben Peterson, my close friend. And essentially this one is in purple micarta along with a Warncliffe blade. I actually purchased this knife directly from Ben at Blade Show. And this is actually Ashley's knife. She wanted something a little bit easier to cut open packages, which that's where the Warncliffe blade comes in handy. And then she wanted the purple variant. The Baby Banter is an awesome knife, especially if you're trying to convince your wife or significant other to carry a knife. As I mentioned before, there are two last items, which were my most favorite pickups of the show, aside from the Arius and the Zahn. But this first knife is a fixed blade. Now this isn't just your normal fixed blade. This is from TJ Schwartz. He actually hand assembled this at the show for me. Pretty much gave me a menu for me to select off of and custom built this thing. Now, if you guys know me, then you know that I absolutely love the Overland, the original Overland from TJ Schwartz, but it's more of a car fixed blade. I wanted something a little bit more pocketable, so we picked up the Overland Sport. This thing is in Magna Cut blade steel finished with a Coyote tan Cerakote coating, black G10 scales, brass pivot hardware, and black hardware. This knife, I believe, is the perfect size for an EDC fixed blade. The sheath is really nice and comes stock with an ulti clip. And I'll tell you right now, I don't think there's another fixed blade that is gonna beat this one for a very long time. I have over 20 fixed blades in my personal collection. The Overland was number one and I think the Overland Sport has dethroned it at this point. I can't wait to add this to my rotation and really beat on it. Only the test of time will tell me how well this thing will hold up. And if you're wanting to build your very own Overland Sport, if you really dig this design like I do, go over to TJ's website. I'll be leaving a link in the description below. Okay, I saved the best for last and I can't really tell you guys how I got this specific item, but I managed to do it and here we go. This has been a grail piece of mine for a good part of two years now and we finally got it. This is the JRW Zirconium Curator. So we've got Zirconium Pyramids and a Zirconium Shell. I had to jump through a lot of hoops to get this specific piece, but it's absolutely gorgeous. If you don't know what a curator is, it's a piece of pocket art that really means means a ton to me personally. I did pick up a GSD black slip from Jamie's booth, and then I added on a paracord with a JRW aluminum black bead. Jamie is one of my closest friends in the EDC community, and he doesn't just give free handouts. No, it's not for sale, and it will never be for sale, because again, I was hunting this forever. And if you're gonna roast me about pocket art, I don't give a rat's ass. Feel free to tell me in the comments below, but for those of you guys that appreciate it, then you know what this thing is. But there you guys have it. Everything I got at Blade Show West. If you enjoyed this content, throw me a thumbs up. If you disliked it, throw me a thumbs down. I promise you I'll do better next time. Aside from that, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and we'll have to catch you on the next one. Peace out.